Welcome to Spinsterhood. My name's Jill and I'll be your guide. You may be asking yourself, what is a spinster exactly? Well, funny you should ask because that's exactly what we're going to cover today. <laughs> The term spinster originated in the industrial age, so think like 1600s, and was used to refer to unmarried women and girls who spun on a spinning wheel for a living because they didn't have husbands, because there were so many options for women back then. So many! Cut to the 1700s, and the spinning part of the equation kind of gets put to the wayside, and the term spinster becomes known uh, as a reference for unmarried women past typical marrying age. Typical marrying age for the time being ridiculously young. So, so young. Fast forward a few hundred years and the term's pretty much fallen out of favor. We don't really use it a whole lot, but when it is used, uh, it's used in a slightly derogatory manner and is meant to conjure an image of an older single woman surrounded by cats crying into a tub of Ben and Jerry's. Which I don't really understand what part of that's supposed to be negative. I mean, obviously like crying, you know, maybe remove that. Uh, but the rest sounds pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, I'm personally allergic to cats, so I would just like uh, uh, move them to the side, replace them with puppies, and you tell me how it gets better than that. It doesn't. It doesn't. On this channel, I'm looking to redefine the term spinster for a new generation and for the 21st century. So to me, the term spinster refers to any person who feels confident and comfortable in their ability to do things on their own. So do you have to be single to be a spinster? No, not really. Uh, even in a relationship, you should feel comfortable uh, in your ability to do things by yourself. Um, but obviously when you're single, there's just more that has to be done on your own. And I want you to feel comfortable doing those things by yourself. That's the whole goal of this channel. So there you have it, where the term spinster originated, kind of how it's adjusted and shifted over the years and how I'm looking to put my own spin on spinster for the 21st century. If you don't already consider yourself to be a spinster, my hope is that you will in the near future. So till next time, this has been Spinsterhood. <laughs>